Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Revenant. Thanks for your support, Rev. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Phantom Doctrine. Well, things are getting a little claustrophobic again as uh, Beholder closes in on us from every side. Our danger rating is spiking, due in large part to one or more hidden Beholder cells, though it certainly doesn't help that we're holding multiple Beholder agents captive. Anyway, let's take care of some quick bookkeeping here, then we'll see if we can do something about our little Beholder problem. First up, we'll have Lamster start building another rimfire suppressor. We've just been passing the one around for a while now, so this should hopefully make things easier on us. We'll have Akino Seth take over for him in the forging room. And we've got a level up to take care of. He's one of our infiltrators, so... I think our best bet is Combat Senses. Dancer is tempting, but Combat Senses is more universal. And I believe that's it for bookkeeping. We do still have all these empty training slots, but we still can't afford to fill them just yet. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Takuma currently meeting a contact in Hong Kong. We've got a Beholder cell in Dubrovnik, which we're currently running recon on. And then we've got these guys, an enemy recon team in New Orleans, who are actually about to report back to their bosses at Beholder. Well, let's see if we can do something about that. Now, normally, I'd be using my American team for this, Snake and Revenant. Snake's fine, but it turns out that Revenant doesn't actually speak English. I tossed him over there when we were a lot lighter on manpower, and he's really better suited to hang out in Europe with the rest of our agents. Okay, we'll just swap him out for Cole Theron. Cole speaks English, and uh, he hasn't gotten much time out in the field yet anyway. Now we'll just toss on a couple of disguises, and yeah, I think we're ready to go. Operation Relentless Tar Pit now We've obviously done a few of these missions before, and they are pretty simple. We'll try to make this one quick. Okay, we've got three entry points, and not that it really matters when both of our agents are infiltrating. We've also got a lot of small outlying buildings here. Nothing much going on in them, though. Oh, there's a weapon case. I guess this would be our main building. Yeah, there's our camera controls and another weapon case. There's some intel. And there's our target next to yet another weapon case. And one more case up on the top floor. Hmm. 
That agent is awkwardly positioned, but... Let's try setting up our support team on the south side. Here we go. Lawn enemy operative. Eliminate or capture. Keep it quiet if possible. First things first, let's have one of our guys go for that weapon case we saw. There it is. I'm here if you need me. Then we'll have Cole Theron go for those cameras. Oof, that's a lot of eyes on the camera console. We might actually need Mark for this. Let's take a peek at that enemy agent, too. We need to see if he's watching those stairs. Yeah, I was afraid of that. We don't have direct line of sight on him. Oh well, we'll just have to take our chances. This might get messy. Alright, let's take out this guard real quick. Might as well grab that case while we're at it. Terrific. What the? Now we'll have Cole get rid of that body. for the spoils. Documents, always nice. We'll have to get the cameras next turn. Okay, looks clear. Go grab that weapon case. Evening, officer. Let's bring Cole around to the base of the stairs. He might be able to get a glimpse of the enemy agent. No luck there. I guess that would have been too easy. I'm listening so hard right now. Okay, we'll have to wait for Mark to get back before we go up there. Oh, hey, Mark just had visual. We'll have to see if we can recreate that line of sight. I'm here if you need me. Oh, 
What the? Now let's see here. I'm here if you need me. <laughs> there we are. Very nice. All right, he's definitely not facing the stairs, so that does make this a lot easier. I guess we could go for that weapon case. It's still a couple of turns before Mark gets here. Hmm. We'll have to wait for now. Got a guard up here somewhere. I'm not seeing him, though. Ah, there he is. there. What the? Oh, hey. I think we can actually work with this. Wow, that pretty much lined up perfectly. Mission target incapacitated. Copy, team. All right. Now we need Reaper to take out this guard for us. Thank you, Reaper. Now, Mark just needs to take out this civilian. Lovely. That's about as smooth as it gets. <gasps> now let's call up our evac. That should work. I think we're pretty much done here. Let's just grab that last weapon case. Huh? 
will bring Cole downstairs, but he'll have to wait for Mark before he goes any further. Hmm, another civilian. I'm here if you need me. And a guard, too. Yeah, these guys are gonna make things difficult for us. Actually, that almost works out perfectly. Hit me. Okay, Reaper. I've got another target for you. More AP bullets. Excellent idea. Now, there is one more item floating around here somewhere. I don't know if it's worth the effort of tracking it down, though. Yeah, let's just get our guys to the exit. <sighs> Was that really necessary? Yeah. Mark, I need you to scout the street for us. Oof, we can't go around, so we'll have to go through. Looks like we're clear, though. should be home free. Let's just make sure our evac zone is clear. What the? I'm listening so hard right now. Ah, 
I'm here if you need me. <sighs> Nicely done, agents. Let's get you guys home. Stick a fork in us. We're done. Not bad. But we did end up missing one item, but that's fine. Some AP rounds, a G3 assault rifle, and one prisoner. Could have been better, could have been worse. At least we got a new document out of it. Some modest XP gain, but no actual level ups. Alright, let's take a look at that new document. Iceberg Communication. To Project Director, Subject, Iceberg Devices. Sir, we have concluded another batch of testing on the devices. I'm afraid I don't have good news. The intel provided by Redacted has proven inaccurate at best. The installed transmitters require a lot more power to boost the signal sufficiently to break through the waves and reach our satellites. We will need to use Chilean Rep's facility for another three to six months before we redesign the transmitters. Needless to say, this puts us behind schedule and over budget. Interesting. The other document stated that Beholder was attaching these devices to underwater communication lines. Apparently, they're designed to contact satellites. That's certainly not much to go on, but it's more than we had before. Of course, we can't actually do anything here just yet. Iceberg Communication These secret documents seem to detail several aspects of a mysterious initiative project codenamed Iceberg. It appears to be a major undertaking, involving actors from many different branches of economy and politics. Still, the purpose of this project is elusive so far. Yeah, you can say that again. We still have no real idea what we're up against here. Well, not much else we can do here right now, so back to the world map. Oof, our danger rating's getting pretty high. We'll have to move our base soon. Or immediately. Alright, let's take care of that. Now, we could go with the cheap option here, but we'll just end up having to move again fairly soon. Then again, given the uh, rapid rate that we're building up danger right now, going to Kabul would be kind of a waste. We'd end up burning through that safe house pretty quickly too. Yeah, we'll just go with Casablanca for now. We'll treat it as a burner safe house. Okay, let's get back to it. There's our new headquarters. Oh, and uh, we need to swap out our American team. Welcome to Hong Kong. I'm told you're looking for information. Indeed. I want to know who supplied the cargo for C.S. Marquis' latest trip. It's last voyage, eh? That ship was bad karma from the start. I'm happy it's gone. 
So, how much for the information? The cargo belong to my enemies. If you harm their business, there will be no charge. How generous of you. What makes you think I'm out to hurt them? Judging by the news from Glasgow, it seems to be your style. I will send the data. That went well. Yeah, too well. Hmm. He did seem suspiciously cooperative. We'll have to be careful about how we approach that favor he asked us for. Our agents made contact with Tai Pan, who offered to provide the necessary information. Let's have a quick look here. Taipan provided a lead on the shipping company that delivered Marquis cargo to Hong Kong. So apparently it takes three people to check out a warehouse. That uh, smells like an ambush to me. All right, well, we'll just hold off on that for now. We've got some other business we have to take care of first. Oh, nice. There's another document to check out. Overview. A portable visual microphone for recording conversations by measuring the vibrations of window panes and transforming them into audio. Description. Special Concepts Division has been commissioned to reverse engineer a Soviet invention codenamed Buren. Recorded uses. Queen's Court are known to have used the device for many years. For instance, while monitoring redacted communications. See the attached report for more information. Overview. Device for detecting humans through walls. Description. Special Concepts Division developed a transmitter that probes the area with radio waves and measures their reflections to calculate the positions and movement of humans through walls. So far, up to four separate individuals can be measured. Recorded uses. The device has been tested during the surveillance of meetings between Redacted and their longtime partners at Colorado Conmen. The device was still cumbersome to use, but its effectiveness remains undoubted. Well, this looks like another filler document, but more complicated than many of the ones we've seen before. SCD Memos, a collection of top-secret documents describing the technology developed by the CIA's Special Concepts Division, a top-secret branch of the agency tasked with conducting black research and experiments. Apparently, a lot of this technology is currently used by beholder operatives worldwide. Alright, so we need to start getting rid of some of these beholder agents we keep collecting. We could just execute them, but then we'd still have to pay for the body disposal. It's more cost effective to just catch and release. There we go. Looks like our tactical recon is finally done in Dubrovnik. Now we can actually take out that Beholder cell. We don't actually have enough time to assault them this session, but we'll definitely start with that next time. Yeah, let's just get our guys back to base for now. More documents. Let's have a look at those. Wizkid. Knight Errant. Cobra Jab. There's one link. 
But I guess that's it for now. Treadstone. Good Samaritans. Union Jack. Guess that's it. Let's get Agent Warhead here into interrogation. Oh, oh, uh, there's our second rimfire suppressor. Thank you, Paladin. We uh, don't really need more recruit candidates, but that's fine. All right, folks. I was really hoping to grab a few more documents before we wrap things up, but at this point, we really can't afford to push the clock up any further. We'll hit the pause button for now, but we'll pick up here next time as we start working to clear the board starting with that beholder cell waiting in Dubrovnik. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Phantom Doctrine, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, or the store pages on Steam or GOG. Links are in the description.